guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're out here shed hunting, opening day in Utah. Okay guys, so we're at this spot where we've done some research at and we think that we can find some elk or deer sheds. So let's get this video started. All right guys, so um, I haven't been able to shed hunt this entire year because of uh, the rules and regulations. Um, I'm glad about the achievement first dog. Because of the rules and regulations um, that uh, Utah put this year because of the snow. But uh, we're out here trying to see what we can find. We're out here now. And since there was a ton of snow, uh, the deer and elk had to go a little bit lower in elevation because of all the snow because it was covering all of their usual vegetation and stuff and so they went a little bit uh, lower so that's what we're trying to shed hunt little lower spots and everything so let's see what we can find guys i'll keep you updated all right guys we just made it to the spot um sam went up more north and i'm walking down south on these slopes trying to find some sheds see what i can see dad and joey went down that way down there but yeah we're trying to see if we can find anything um we've seen a good sign good amount of sign it's just finding these sheds you know it's like a human haystack with everyone officially on their own paths we ventured out into the forest determined to locate these antlers it was hard work but the mere thought of us holding one of those sought after antlers is what motivated us to push further and further with every step we took Oh, this freaking thick country is not treating us well. But the plan right now is to go over there to that flatter country. See if we can shed a uh, hunt over there. Been seeing some elk and deer all over this place, so. Uh, super awesome sign and everything, just we can't find them. For some reason, can't find them. But I'm trying to see what we're gonna do. Lately, what we've been seeing is as we get lower, the sign goes up because um, all the the snowpack was super high up and it wasn't as high down there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down there, see if we can pick up a shed or two. But we'll let you guys know. So typically what we look for while shed hunting is stuff like this. This deer poop. And then we look for some uh, tracks, deer tracks and for some south facing slopes because in the winters um in the winters since the south facing slopes are the sun comes up and the south facing slopes are facing the sun that means that the um the snow melts off better on the south facing slopes than the north facing and so then it reveals more like uh lush grass and things so that these deer and elk can eat so they kind of like on the south facing we're on a west facing slope right now trying to get over to my dad so I don't know. We're trying to get over there, so yeah, let's go. Man, it had been a long day and we hadn't found one single antler. Morale was low and we wanted to quit until. Okay, Ben, what'd you just find? Nice, that's actually kind of sick. <laughs> Dad literally stepped on it, bro. Nice shed. nice shed, dog. Okay, I need to go find the GoPro now. Let's see. All right, shed number one on the board. Looking out here for another one. That's cool, that's cool. Man, finally we've found the shed. This shed gave us the push we needed to put in the extra miles to have the chance at more. We were hyped. That is literally the most unfair thing on this planet. Freaking, my dad went down to that gully to just point out some stuff. He literally had it two inches from his foot. Ben walks right behind him, looks down, he's like, oh, there's a shed. Luckiest thing ever, but hey, one on the board, wasn't broken or anything, a two point with a cheater on it, so. Speaking of luck, after that we came up empty handed and it seems that our luck ran out. You win some, you lose some, I guess. But I have a feeling we're gonna get revenge on those sheds.